3D okay. Boxing here with the Victorious, still undefeated. Still. Uh, ben Gourmet, uh, congratulations on the victory first. I want to say you had the best ring walk of the night. That uh, was, hell yeah, hell I wasn't yeah, expecting the uh, CCR, Fortunate Son. Yeah. What made you pick that? Uh, you know, uh, I'm a U.S. Army veteran, you know what I mean? And uh, I wanted to wear Army Green in July, and my birthday's in July, you know, so I couldn't pick a better song than Fortunate Son, you know. Credence definitely put, put that in. That song is going badass. Uh, I was not expecting uh, that. Uh, nah, nobody was. You know, I said that, and actually, I said that. I didn't tell nobody. Uh, I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty clever with my walkout song so far, so I'm trying to stay with that. You got the work, walkout of the night for sure. Yeah. Uh, you also maybe have the performance of the night, yep. uh, but I want to ask you about your, your stablemate Malik in just a minute. Um, that's the best I've seen you look. You were giving him angles, Thank you were you. out jabbing him from the outside, you look quicker than I've ever seen you look. How did camp go and, and did you feel real confident coming into this fight? You know, I, I felt confident, you know, camp went well, you know, like I said, oh. we put in a lot of rounds, you know, road work after road work after road work. I sparring again with Edward Kid Vasquez, who's, uh, you know, unbelievable and uh, undefeated as well. So, you know, camp went well. And, uh, you know, I was confident coming in, but I knew the kid was a, a strong Mexican style fighter. I knew he was gonna come forward. Therefore, I wanted to show that I can box. So, boom, angles, ooh, start step, you know, pivot a little bit, you know, and landing the shots up the middle were definitely uh, paying off. It, it looked like uh, in the third round, you could see his, his, uh, his, his game plan, his style was to simply outwork you and throw more shots on the inside. Yeah. Um, did you see him tiring after the third round? Because I don't know if he won it, but that seemed to be his best round. And then the fourth round, you came back and looked really strong again. Yeah, yeah, no, no, definitely. There's one one point in the third round. You know, he came and he came with a flurry, and I really wasn't expecting that because after the second round, I felt like I had him because I was landing big shots. I, I, I was pushing him back. He was on the back pedal. You know, I guess going into the going into the uh, into the third round, you know, he had a good breather. He came out strong. He threw some flurries, but I was able to stay there, uh, maintain my back, my base and land big shots up the middle, which uh, definitely was pushing them back. You were clearly landing the big shots. Was there much snap on his punches? I mean, but what... uh, no, no, actually, um, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say he didn't hit hard, but you know, there was, it wasn't the hardest I've been hit. So I was able to, you know, keep pushing forward. You know, I knew he wasn't gonna hurt me. Did you, you know, uh, the judges had it wide, but like, and he was throwing a lot of punches. Did you know that you had it basically one going in the last round? Or did you feel that like you had to win the last round? No, actually, I, I knew I had it going in the third round. I knew, um, he, he kept spitting out his mouthpiece, you know, and for me that, you know, that just means he's tired yeah. or he wants the easy way out. So I picked it up. I started applying a little bit more pressure, trying to be smart with it, throwing the jab and then stepping in, you know, and uh, I knew I had it. I knew I had it. I've seen most of, if not all your fights now. I think that's the best I've seen you look. How mm -hmm. would you grade your performance? You know, uh, I'd have to say a high B, like a high uh, B plus, you know. I wanted to stay tight. I got, I got um, a little comfortable in the third and fourth because, you know, he really wasn't uh, landing big shots. So I started to bring my hands down a little bit, but then, you know, going in the fourth, hey, bring your hands up. You know, Coach Ray is tremendous at what he does, you know. So, hey, we got to stay tight, we got to stay sharp, and we got to box this kid. And want, we did it. I wanted to ask you about that. Um, your, your stable mate at FHG, uh, Malik Calhoun scored a sensational knockout in his pro debut. Uh, what did you think of his performance? Oh, you know, actually, I was in the backstage right here watching it. You can it. see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, so I was watching it back here. Um, you know, I think he did great. I think he, he established the jab, he changed the levels, jab to the body, jab to the, uh, to the head, you know, and. We knew that guy was gonna come forward. He had to he he had to come forward to try to uh, put some pressure on Malik. But Malik he, he's a smart smart fighter, very defensive, you know. So he was able to counter that dude and have some big shots. Coach Ray Ray has you know between you Eddie Malik, he's really got you guys clicking. Uh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. doing a good job yep. over that FHG with you guys. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. You know, Coach uh, Coach Ray is tremendous. Like I said, you know we have a great stable, and we're all in the gym pushing each other. You know, and he, he's there with us. So you know I can't ask for a better team. Congratulations on the win. It's thank you, still thank you, undefeated. Tell everyone where they can find you. Yep. All right, you can find me at Buck at Buck Del Rey on Instagram. Benjamin Buck Gurmit on Facebook. Right there. Come check me out. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.